Hey guys, Tony Rowe back with a, another rapid video against Monteriso. And I'm playing E4. You know what? I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to go real deep here. Yeah, I'm going to play the Snyder. I think it's called the Snyder. It's so obscure, some people don't even know what this move is called. Probably for, for all the right reasons. <clears throat> Let me turn my phone off. Got it. Let me close Facebook. <laughs> Got it. Uh, bishop b2. I think if knight f6, white is supposed to go bishop b5 check, bishop d7. Okay. <laughs> he's he's having none of it. That's an interesting idea, because now knight f6. So what do I do? Can I be, like, real sloppy with f4? I really want to. Uh, f4, knight f6, presumably just knight c3. Uh, how, how crazy do I want to make this here? Knight d7 looks weird. Yeah, I'm gonna go f4. I think it's, it's principled to go f4 and try and meet his knight f6 idea with e5 somehow. Possibly even knight f6 e5 is possible right away. Um, e5, holy god, what's happening? Can I let him take it? And just go king's gambit style on him. Pretty tempting. Yeah, I'm just gonna play knight f3. He can take it, I'll go bishop c4. Now that he's played e5 and he has this configuration, the bishop on c4 will be very well placed. So I'm speculating here a bit. I'm not I'm not gonna claim that that this position is like, you know, the refutation of c5 or anything, but but it's fun. I've been uh yesterday I just logged on and I just started uh, let's see. Knight g5. Can I do that? Knight g5, knight e5, I guess. Huh. Oh, but then I can take it. Oh my god, the bishop on b2 makes sense. So what's he doing? What's he doing about that? Alright, I mean... I'll play, play like a slime ball if I'm allowed. Maybe he can go d5. Yeah, I was about to say that. Ay ay ay. I guess I'm taking with the pawn. He takes d5. Knight b6. I have this check. He can go queen e7, but maybe even in that case I have king f2, or I can just go queen e2. Yeah, I'm going to just take this thing. Bishop d6. Castles, castles. Knight c3. Castles. Knight c3, presumably. a6, looking to go b5, a4, knight b6. Hmm. Maybe even just a5 there, and if he takes, I take with a b-pawn. This pawn's kind of annoying now. <laughs> Can I go knight e6 here? Knight e6, f takes, d takes, knight b6. Yeah, probably not. It would be funny, though. <clears throat> no, that doesn't work at all. That's that's dumb, Tony. Don't waste your time on on nonsense. Uh, is queen e2 anything? Queen e2, queen e7, queen takes e7, bishop takes e7, ooh, d6. Is that better than just castles, castles? Queen e2. 
Of course, bishop e7, d6 wins instantly. So queen e2, queen e7, he's certainly not going king f8. Takes, takes, d6. Hmm, bishop takes d... Oh, see, that's... Yeah, that's even worse than I thought it would be, because bishop takes d6, knight takes f7 is a, uh, a fork on these things. What if he goes knight e5? Oh. I keep forgetting about this bishop on b2. I can just take it. It's, like, just so so innocuous over here. All right, well, this check seems good. We'll whip that out. I think black's in some trouble, actually. How is this happening? Like, where... Probably e5 is... I don't know. If black's actually in trouble, I would be interested to see where he went wrong. Probably even e5 and e takes f4 is fine. Maybe knight g... What did I say here? Takes? Yeah. Must take with the king, apparently. I'm going to go knight c3. Maybe I can castle long, and I, I want to be able to... I guess knight b6 now is just preempted by protecting the d-pawn again, so... Knight e4, maybe? I'm threatening knight takes d6, and then takes check here, takes here. If he takes, takes. Rook e8, maybe? Oh, yeah, I'll play this. I can just castle there, too. Maybe maybe castling is better, but I'm trying to play with some vigor here. Yeah, I logged on yesterday late at night, like 1 or 2 in the morning, and I just started playing openings I haven't played in a while, but I played I, I played for a long time. You know, Kalashnikov, King's Indian Defense, and I started playing E4, which I never really play. Kind of just speculating and... And having a, a good time of it. And actually, I scored really well. My blitz rating surpassed my classical rating, which has happened like twice in my life. Now I'm at 23, 29, but I was a little higher. Kind of funny. Really? Knight d6, king d6, knight f7. King e7 is his idea. But king e7 doesn't trap the knight. Maybe he missed that I can go knight e5. Knight takes d6, king takes d6, takes check. He can go king c7, but then... I've got some time. f4 is also hanging in a lot of these positions. Hmm... Somehow I don't feel like this works the way he thinks it does. Knight d6, king takes d6, knight f7, king e7. Knight e5 just looks winning for white. Knight takes d6, king takes d6. Knight takes f7, check, king c6. I don't know, I even have d6 check there. I'm just going to play this. Of course, h takes g5, knight takes e8, so he he's forced to take this way. I'm gonna take this thing quickly. Ah, uh, he does have b5. He's bagging this thing, huh? C. Knight takes d7, bishop takes d7, rook takes f4. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Final check. Okay. So we're up two pawns. We got the two bishops. This pawn is kind of stinky. B5 is going to come come at some point and kick my bishop. But yeah. Do I want to flick this in first? 
Nah, I kind of like my bishops at the moment. I'm going to try and keep my bishops, maybe if I can. Unless, I mean, I'll win the f6 pawn if he lets me, but he probably won't. Yeah. <laughs> How do I make bishop g g6 work now? Uh, but isn't rook a to f1 just good now? I'm going to play that. Position is falling apart here. Somehow this tenuous d5 pawn is is alive. And my opponent's king, despite having removed two sets of minor pieces in the queens, is still, is still in some trouble. Yep. All right, we're going to nab another pawn. <laughs> H6 is weak now. Rook e5. Go rook d6. Rook f7. <laughs> okay. Okay. And black resigns. So let's take a look at that one. I don't actually know any of the theory of the Snyder, so this is this will be a learning experience for, for everyone <laughs> involved. Knight c6. In my book, I recommended g6, actually. And after bishop b2... Okay, so I shouldn't say I don't know any theory in the Schneider. I know some. Yeah, and you can see this line scores pretty well for black, actually. I don't think it's objectively anything. I just think it's kind of kind of weird. Maybe people who play b3 don't see it that much. So black then has to go knight f6, and then white has some options. e5 is the most obvious, of course, but not the only move. And black's, black's gen it looks kind of risky to, to open up, play g6, but black's idea is that after knight d5 e6, he can just simply go f6. And after something like e takes d7, uh, I give queen takes d7 in my book. Uh, black will go e5, and then he has uh, a bunch of extra space in the center. Of course, his queen's on d7, and you know maybe he has some problems here, so it's not like objectively winning or anything, but you can see that it's about equal. Ooh, Carlson played this in 2015. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's about equal, and I think... In some ways, the pressure is, is on white to to sort of grab the initiative before black just consolidates with like e5, knight c6, queen d6, bishop out to e6, you know, something like that. And, you know, the, the pawns here and here are going to really cramp cramp white and, and sort of cramp this bishop. So there are other moves here, though, like queen f3 is kind of clever. Uh, looking to go e5 when knight d5 is no longer possible. That's kind of an interesting move. So that's g6. Knight c6 is the main move, presumably bishop e2. If e5 is f4, like a legitimate thing to do or no? Takes knight f3. Knight f3, of course, if you're not familiar with the king's gambit and all of these positions with e5, uh, e4, e5, e takes f4, queen h4 check is a pretty massive threat here since g3 would just be met by takes. So white normally goes knight f3 to stop this check. Yeah, knight f6 seemed to score pretty well here, huh? F knight c3, d6, stopping e5, bishop c4. Yeah, I don't necessarily believe in this. It's kind of... It, it, uh, yeah, it seems kind of weird. Probably just bishop c4 is fine for white, though. This is a very good good diagonal for the bishop now. If here... Yeah, these positions are weird, man. I'm gonna have to look into this. So after d6, bishop b2. Knight f6 right away, I think. Bishop b5 check. Bishop d7. Ooh, knight b to d7 is the main move. I'd probably go queen e2, but I guess d3 is fine as well. The only reason I'd go queen e2 is I think it's a little bit more aggressive. White is just getting ready for f4 and e5, or knight c3 and castles long without nudging the d-pawn. a6, I presumably have to take it. Bishop takes. f4 is what I would play. Bishop c6, I'd probably go knight c3. Surprised the computer thinks this is better for black. I mean, black does have the two bishops, but e5 seems annoying. 
So if e6, knight f3, Carlson played this as white in 2014. Larry Christensen beat Irene, Irina Krush in, uh, Crush in 2010. Eh, I mean, it seems interesting. I'm not sure it's it's actually objectively anything for white. It actually looks a lot like a Grand Prix attack, except that that white has played b3 and bishop b2. Yeah, interesting. You can reach very similar structures after, like, let's say, knight c3, d6, f4, uh, you know, some move, knight c6, and then, uh, you know, typical Grand Prix stuff like like this. Except, in, in our variation, white has played the perhaps uh, somewhat odd and irrational b3 and bishop b2. All right, I don't want to get too bogged down in the theory here. So e5, white is not scoring so great, but I feel like his position is fine. This knight on d7 is just not a good piece. That knight should be here for, for obvious reasons. It blocks the bishop. It, you know, doesn't have any influence over the d4 square. I feel like if you're going to play this, the whole point is to go knight f6 when, you know, e5 is defended. Bishop takes f6, can be met by knight takes f6. Bishop b5 can just be met by a6 or something. It's, it's not a check. I thought this was the idea, is that, that black was going knight f6 here. And I was just going to go knight c3, I think, and then after e6, just the usual, like, knight f3. You know, maybe I'm going e5, bishop b5, or whatever. But I think with the knight on d7, white is actually pretty... should be pretty happy with, with the position here. And probably, I'm guessing, knight g takes f6 is just... or knight g to f6 is just an, an inaccuracy. Yeah, and knight g5, d5, e takes d5 is almost forced. Ah, and then black should go queen e7. I thought king f2 there, though. And then rook e1 is annoying. Why does that not work? Hmm. Yeah, b before, before we move on... I, it's kind of weird to me that like a 2100 would miss knight g5, or maybe he missed that knight e5 is not possible because of bishop e5. Maybe he missed the same thing that I did at first. This is just a route, I presume. I mean, this this just has to be losing. It, it's, it's fascinating to me that the computer doesn't think this is that bad, but yeah, I suppose there's some annoying stuff here. And h6, knight f3, knight e4 is maybe possible, so. But, you know, this is like, you know... the the classic two knights like you know when the bishop's on c4 and you play knight f6 you have to be ready for knight g5 basically all the time because f7 is so sensitive in this case okay this is this has been known to be at least interesting and mostly satisfactory for black for a long time so but it, it sort of shades of that in this game where i think black should have been at least when you play knight g to f6 how much time did did black use here yeah, six seconds. I mean, if you play knight g to f6, you have to be ready for for knight g5. I think maybe it was just a case of slightly lazy development that... Or he missed knight e5. I mean, that's possible, too. He missed knight e5, bishop e5, which, you know, I'm not going to judge him because I missed it, too. So bishop d6 is maybe a mistake because of queen e2. So if queen e7 check, beating white to the punch, king f2, knight e5. Now, what the heck? If I take this... Oh, he's going knight g4 check, I guess. Very clever. And then everything is hanging. Yeah, of course, the, of course this is just losing after rook e1. But. Ah, so computer wants to go king f1 instead. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that makes sense. I mean... Okay, white's development and king is, is screwed up, but also... D6 is is presumably a fairly large threat with threats on F7, and Black's development is also pretty bungled up here. By the way, shout out to Anton Squared Me for uh, providing the user script for these these pieces. I like these pieces. It's kind of a fun switch, switching up, going with the light theme. I didn't go light theme on purpose. I know people generally prefer the dark theme. It's a little bit easier on the eyes, so uh, if I'm like bleaching out your retinas, I apologize for that. Uh, okay, so Q4, 
queen e7, king f1. Knight takes d5. Fancy tactics. Of course, bishop d5, knight, queen g5. And if queen h5, g6. Now queen e2. Okay, I don't understand chess at all. That's, that's very clear. Oh, man. Th this bishop on b2 is blowing my mind. It's so good. Queen h5 is actually brilliant. I just, like, I literally cannot even comprehend that there's a bishop on b2. And I, I re it's remarkable that I won the game as quickly as I did with how badly I'm visualizing the chessboard right now. <laughs> it's just absolutely hilarious. Okay, so that makes, a queen h5 actually makes a hell of a lot of sense, doesn't it? Unleashing the power. Okay. All right, let, let's move on. I'm acting like an idiot. Yeah, I, I think after this, the, the game is extremely uncomfortable. Presumably, bishop uh, takes e7, d6 is just uh, crushing. Because he can't take knight f7 as a, a double attack here. So if he can't take, the, and I get the pawn on d6 and the f7 pawn for free, uh, this just has to be, like, horrendous. You know, maybe my knight is coming into e6. This is just terrible. But if he has to take with a king, I mean, knight c3, and, you know, maybe I'm going into b5 or e4. As in the game, castling long, rook's coming to e1 and f1. Yeah, it's just, uh, material is even. We both have seven pawns, but, yeah, black has some problems to solve, I think. And probably a6 is maybe a little slow. Computer thinks I should go castles instead of what I did. Is what I did bad? So knight e4, knight e4. Presumably f6 to stop me smacking on g7 at some point. I'd probably end up going a4 here, I think. I mean, if he goes knight b6, I don't really care if he, if he wants to take on c4. I mean, he leaves me with my... I mean, I think the bishop on b2 still has potential, and... This bishop on c4 is essentially just a, a pawn anyway. I might as well might as well replace it with an actual one. Yeah, castles, takes, takes. I mean, I'm, I'm up... Uh, am I up a pawn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. No. Even. Hmm. Yeah, but even then, I think, I, I think black probably has some problems here. This thing's a weakness. His, his king is his kind of crap. Both my minor pieces, I think, are quite good. Yeah, but probably knight takes e4 is is much better than than what black played. The problem you run into is if you let this knight sit on g5 for too long like he did, then then f7 and d6 are sort of tactical weaknesses. So again, he should probably exchange and just get this thing away from get this thing away from his king side. Yeah, but even here, the yeah the insertion of rook e8 in castles has to favor white because now I'm just much better mobilized and rook e8 doesn't have a huge effect on the position. Like, this starts to look pretty uncomfortable. And he's he's not really in time to stop me from winning a pawn with knight takes d6 and rook f4. Like, g5 has to be awful for some reason. Maybe even g3. Ah, yeah, there's a there's a nice deflection here, too. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just a discovered attack. I'm a moron. Yeah. So that's just a concrete threat right now is knight f6 check. Dummy. And after this, I, yeah, actually, I think the game is just over. I don't know if I missed something technically better. <clears throat> knight g6. But this is just very simple. I mean... There's there's nothing really to this. I mean, this just ends the game immediately. Essentially, I'm up I'm up three pawns. It doesn't really. Okay, or, or this. I mean, this is the same. I'm just up three pawns. There, there's nothing interesting about this, and and he he even has you know other weaknesses, and his king is still a problem. This is just uh, kind of a route. So yeah, tricky out of the opening. It just sort of just scammed him, just kind of scam artist him. It wasn't, wasn't the prettiest game in the world, but sometimes this is how you got to win, win a chess game every now and then. Queen e2, I think we both underrated at first. I didn't see this move, and 
and yeah, it's trouble. And I guess bishop e7, I'm just going d6 anyway, right? And he's just getting killed, so. Yeah, queen e7 is maybe almost forced. Just because of the problems black is going to experience if if d6 for nothing, essentially. Or, you know, queen e2, so. Yeah, interesting game. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I will be back with uh, more videos very soon. I apologize for the the six or seven day break. Uh, I've been busy with work, really busy with work, and a lot of my spare time has been going into writing this this uh, program that I'm <laughs> I'm completely struggling with. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yes, I will see you guys back with with more videos soon.